Hello everybody, this is Jacob Burkowski. Just wanted to bring you up to speed on some very successful activity that took place. Uh, just this evening, <coughs> we did a very, very uh, successful mixer with a um, brand new business partner, Mr. Colton Trout, and just packed it out. Had an amazing turnout with his, his close friends. He had six people show up. All six tremendously, tremendously interested. Every single person loving the product. Bam fam to another mixer and six people filling out applications. Obviously, when you're dealing with the young crowd, finances are, you know, they kind of are what they are, unfortunately. Um, but six people ready to rock in the business. And through the exposure process, a couple things I want to get across. If people say they're interested but they don't get started immediately, automatically you've got to start booking them to future mixers, events, and venues. So what we did with everybody was said, hey, guess what? You need to make this event on Tuesday with Dr. Bob. You must attend this. It's, it's essential for, for your success. You need to come and hear this information so that you can really know how to build this business. So all of them are highly interested. Nobody's made a decision yet, but they're coming. But I also wanted to give massive props to Colton. He did about 75% of the presentation was prepared. He had a good environment and he crushed it. And I wouldn't be surprised if he had six new business partners coming on board uh, right away. And you know that's what it takes. You've got to, you've got to prepare to win. And he totally did that. He totally prepared to win. And I wouldn't be surprised if he was, <coughs> you know, qualifying for that black Mercedes Benz sooner than later, just based on his start, his launch, and how he's doing with that. The second thing I wanted to get across was, after that, I actually did a game plan interview starting at 10.45, just finished up at 11.45 uh, with one of my brand new business partners, new business partner, so on level two, uh, is Sue's brand new business partner in Minneapolis. And, you know, it's, it's late. Uh, it's Saturday night. I could be out having fun. I could be sleeping, getting ready for church in the morning. But in reality, uh, I got dreams and goals and things to accomplish, and I've got to, you know, I've got to do this. And you've got to be willing to make those kind of sacrifices. I know a lot of people have work and a lot of people have families, but what areas do you need to make some short-term sacrifices in in order to get the long-term goals that you want? And you know, a person would look at a person who's making six figures or multiple six figures a year in the business and they say, well, you know, you've already kind of made it. In reality, yes, you know, I'm, I'm taken care of, but <coughs> in reality, no. I've got so many more people to help. I've got so many bigger dreams and goals. I've got so many more things I want to do. I want to get Diamond done. I want to help other people qualify for the black Mercedes, qualify for the trip next year. And I've got a lot of people to help in order to make that happen. So for me, it's not even about the finances anymore. I know for a lot of people at the beginning it is. It's about just the purpose and the passion and the mission of helping other people reach their goals and, uh, and reaching mine as well. It's just being driven for that. But you got to know that it's going to take some sacrifices and you got to go ahead and make that happen. So just a couple pointers I wanted to give you guys on making the sacrifices and on uh, big congratulations on a very successful first mixer. So with that said, I'm going to go and go to bed. Love you all. God bless.